Mike and Pat. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, look at you. <laughs> How about the weather? Oh, it's a lot colder than usual. So. I just think it'd be fair. Don, I can't bail you out on this one. And I'll have a scotch if you got it. Scotch it is. Mm. Ah, Trisha. Happy Thanksgiving. Hello, Dad. Hello, sir. It's delightful to see you. Just delightful. Edward. What? It is delightful, isn't it, sir? Edward. They've invited me to come out to New York. We could really use a mother's touch in our apartment. It's like a hospital, Daddy. White walls and Edward's modern furniture. If you can spare her. Oh, sorry, Edward. Now is not the time. Dick. Oh, thanks, Don. I better go check on the turkey. Daddy, come, sit. Uh, can someone turn up the volume on the game? Don't you want to talk to your daughter? We are talking. Here. Thank you, Trisha. How are you, Trisha? New York is great. I'm finally starting to make some real friends. Ah. Are you thinking about children? Your father and I would love some grandkids. That's right, Dick. A damn stupid thing. When the time is right. Don't wait too long. You can't let your life lead you. Don't worry about us, Mom. How are you doing? It's, it's been a tough few months. But Daddy doesn't look well. Have you been getting out at all? Uh, run. Run! That's it! Stuff it down their throats! <laughs> that was a hell of a play. Eddie! <laughs> Eddie's here. Don't you want to come say hello to your brother? Well, isn't he coming inside? I'm watching the game. We haven't been out in a long time. Can't you just act like you want to be here? I'm not acting like anything. You wanted me to come, I'm here. If, if you're unhappy, it's your own damn fault. Nice hit! Oh, oh! Get it, get it! Yes! We got it back, we got it back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> Woo! Jack? Eddie? You'll never believe what Amelia found at the store. No? It's a mask of your face. Can you believe it? Right there at the drugstore. Kids are using them to play cops and robbers. What do they wear for the cops? Ah, what do they wear for the cops? You get it, Dick? Here, Amelia, show them. Check it out, Uncle Dick. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look a thing like me. What do you think, Aunt Pat? It's pretty exaggerated, but I could see it. Don't be stupid, Pat. Amelia's just trying to be nice. Come on, Dick. Isn't it funny? No, I don't think it's funny. Dick, be pleasant. What for? She's your niece. So I shouldn't be honest with her? Let's not go starting a trend. Just look at it, Dick. God damn it, I don't want to. Get your coat, we're going. Come on, Dick. Sorry, Don. What do you think you're doing, Dick? Time to go home. You want to leave. You're upset and you want to throw a tantrum? Fine. Go home. Damn it, Pat. I've had enough. I haven't? How do you think I feel? Dick, I'm done. I'm going to enjoy my Thanksgiving. You do what you want. Sorry if I was inappropriate. I've been a little touchy these days. It's okay, Uncle Dick. I mean, Watergate must have been pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty heavy. <laughs> Can I get you some turkey, Daddy? Uh, 
Tricia, would you mind if I went along to New York as well? I wouldn't want to find Pat on the cyclone with some other fella. You're welcome anytime, Daddy. Are you familiar with the Articles of War, Chief Manion? The provision dealing with POWs? A commander may not put his prisoners to death because their presence retards his movements yes. or otherwise... Yes, sir. If you'll allow me to finish the question. Why didn't he tell me? You didn't ask. You didn't tell. What are you doing? Uh, making goulash. What does it look like? Why are you crying? I miss him. Huh. You want some tea? Don't do me any favors. I want some tea. Okay, then. These deeds must not be thought after these ways. So it will make us mad. I thought I heard a voice cry, Sleep no more, Macbeth does murder sleep. The innocent sleep. Sleep that knits up the rabble sleeve of care. The death of each day's life. So labor's bath, balm of hurt minds, great nature's second course, the chief nourisher in life's feast. Not bad, Raymond, not bad. Kevin. Dad, I didn't mean it. I know, son, I know. I just want us to stay together. Why can't we go with you? I'm going to be going pretty far this time. It won't be so easy to get home. It's not fair to your mother. She's, she's always on her own. We'll never go fishing again, will we? Oh, absolutely. Next year, the year after that, any time you want. Scout's on her. Is, is she going to marry him now? Kevin. Sandy's a friend. But we've been friends a long time, all of us. Took you hunting for the first time. You can barely shoulder a rifle. Well, we nail that some bitch. That's proud. My granddaddy Buck. That was a good day. I don't care what you've done, I don't want you to suffer. <laughs>